Okay, then I suggest that we continue with the next one, which is D. And maybe I will use a new um, screen here, a new page, so I have more space. Task is still there. In my clipboard, so for subtask D, we have a power with a level of 30 dBm, and we have another power with the very same level of 30 dBm, and now we have yeah something like a power combiner, um, such a box where we have two inputs and one output. So P in one, P in two, and we have P out. And this power combiner somehow takes care that uh, the output is this power plus this power. So here this, um, this should just be the sum <coughs> of the two. But this power is given as a level, this power is given as a level, both are 30 dBm. So what do we do? Convert it into linear scale. We first step would be we convert this into linear scale. Uh, luckily we just learned how to do it um, and the formula is, uh, remember, is still here. So we use this formula once again. So power is reference power multiplied with 10 to the power level divided by 10. And the reference power in this case one is one milliwatt. And the power level is 30 dBm. So we have this multiplied with 10 to the power of 30 divided by 10. So the zeros will cancel each other. We have 10 to the power of 3. And milli is 10 to the power of minus 3. So this and this will also cancel each other. And at the end, we get 1 watt. And this would be, let's say, our first power. If the second power has the same power level, um, then, of course, we will end up with the very same power there. And so now we could take these two powers and insert them in this equation over here. So our output power is P1 plus P2. And then the result is 2, two watts. OK. So but we, we, we don't want to know the power. We want to know the power level at the output. So what do we do? We convert it again. again. We use this power, um, put it back into our original equation, and calculate this power level of the output power. And this is, once again, 10 times the Descartes logarithm of 2 watt divided by 1 milliwatt um, and express it in dB. And if we do this, okay, we can we could do this one intermediate step once again and say, okay, the two watts are 2000 milliwatt divided by one milliwatt. A milliwatts will cancel each other. Um, and we can also cancel the one. So we just have 2,000. So the, the, the result will be Yeah, it will be 33 because um, I could also write I could also write it in a way that I say it's the decadic logarithm of two times thousand which is two thousand and there's this other logarithmic rule that says if you have the logarithm of a product this turns into a sum 
what we used before. And so the, um, yeah, I, could, I could write this as, let's say, 10 times Descartes logarithm of 2 plus 10 times Descartes logarithm of 10 to the power of 3 or 1000. So at the end, this will be 3 dB plus, and this will be 30 dB as we had before. Um, and so the result will be 33 dB or better 33 dBm. So here the output is 33 dBm or dB milliwatt. Um, and a much easier <coughs> way or argument to calculate this result would be if we have a power and combine it with the very same power, what do we do with the power? We double it. And doubling the power means we multiply it with a factor of 2. And a factor of 2 on the dB scale was 3 dB. So whatever we have, 30 plus 30 gives 33. If we would have 20 combined with 20, we get 23 if we have 10. Yeah, and so um, hmm. that's a bit strange. Yeah? It's, it's, uh, so on, on, on the level scale, um, as discussed also in the lecture, 30 dBm plus 30 dBm is not 60 dBm because there is no real plus in this case. Um, you, you, you could write it like this with a, with a plus maybe in quotation marks, something like this, because it's not really a plus. Um, yeah, and that's why it's, it's also not which power level is achieved when the power with the level is added or something like this. That's why I've used this term here is combined, because we would need to have a circuit or some device like this that um, takes two powers and gives us this output power in terms of this sum of the linear powers. Okay, um, questions so far for this task? So, before finishing with task E, what we could also discuss is what, what would happen if we don't have, yeah, so let's write again 30 dBm plus, that's not really a plus, but this, is, this, this should mean this is combined with another 30 dBm um, gives us or results in 33 dBm. So, but what would happen, for example, if you have 30 dBm and if you combine the 30 dBm with, let's say, just 0 dBm? What, what would be the result then? So one, 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 one lucky guess is 31. Um, we, we could try to do this in octave, um, putting all the equations that we have just written down in octave. So let's say we have, um, let's say we have a first level. L let's do the calculation that we had before with the 30 and 30. So we have a first level and we have a second level. Both are 30. And now we want to do this sum here. But for the sum, at first we have to convert the levels back into linear powers. So um, I, I, I somewhere have the equation over there. So I could say, um, I will, um, unfortunately you cannot copy in the, uh, octave command prompt, but okay, we have, we take our our first level divided by 10, 10 to the power of this multiplied with our reference power. We, then we can do plus, maybe, maybe put this into another pair of parentheses or brackets. So then we do the very same. So once again, reference power 
multiplied with 10 to the power of our second level divided by 10 closing brackets closing brackets so this would be the th this should give us two what so let's check okay there's the two and so now from this result we once again take 10 times log 10 of this power divided by our reference power the line seems not to be long enough okay so divided by the reference power and then um, parentheses close so we get 33 which works nicely okay so now let's change the second power level from which was 30 now now let's change it into zero and we can redo the calculation and so the result is not as as guessed and suggested 31 dbm it's 30.00 something um yeah and this is once again this is a bit strange if we would um yeah if you it, it's it's totally correct still it's it's a little let's say unintuitive yeah it's not what you would guess so if we would combine 30 and 20 as you can see the result is 30.4 um, if we would combine if we would combine um, 30 and 10 so we get something like this yeah and so we get always one one zero more if we go to 30 and 0 and yeah, then it's 30.004 something okay so I could write down here it's approximately 30 dBm and yeah so why it's like this why, why does this really make sense in this case that 30 plus 0 in this case is really 30 30 dBm corresponds to which linear power 10 to the power of 3 so it's 1000 milliwatt so it's 1 watt the, the 1 watt that we had before and 0 dBm means 1 milliwatt so now imagine if you have 1 watt plus 1 milliwatt it's a thousand yeah it's thousand and one milliwatt and okay you do not really care if it's thousand milliwatt or thousand and one milliwatt so okay it's roughly uh, one watt again and one watt is 30 dBm and that's why if you have a l so if you have two equal levels the calculation is very simple you just add three and if if you have something that is much larger than the other then the larger one wins and the other we do not care about this because it's uh, by orders of magnitude smaller than what we had before so you you if, if you have a calculation like this okay the 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 real exact formal way to calculate this is the way that we have written down or the way that is now also used in my um, quite long but not super long octave formula here yeah, that does conversion from levels into power from level into power then adding the powers and then converting back into decibel um, but yeah if you have two equal values you just add three if you have two values where the difference is quite strong let's say more than 20 db then the result is just the larger value and you don't care about the smaller one okay further questions related to this subtask d there's one if we if we would have zero dbm combined with another zero dbm then the result would be three dbm yeah. you have two equal values one milliwatt one milliwatt the result will be two milliwatt and two milliwatt is three dbm yeah. 
And we can we can also check this in the octave calculation. So if I set the um, if I set the first level to zero and the second level, I think oops, uh, the second level is still zero, and check the result, then it will be three dBm. 